ML Sports Take here from Rosie's Corner. Stop by for a pastrami Reuben like I'm getting today. Just delicious. Meatball Bomber, the Gold Fever Wings, Garlic Parm with the pizza combos. It's all here at Rosie's. Route 11 in front of the Burton Bridge. Gift cards available as well. I got a team for you in the NFL to watch out for. The Los Angeles Rams in the NFC. I love what they did in the draft. I know it's a post-Aaron Donald era, but they went out and shored up the D-line with Braden Fisk and Jared Verse from Florida State. And you put those two guys with Kobe Turner up front, who was a big-time get in recent drafts as well. This team has drafted, developed, and kept. They've done well in free agency. And for the first time in a long time, they had to work on the first day of the draft, right? For years and years, it was giveaway picks, giveaway picks, giveaway picks for the likes of, oh, I don't know, Von Miller and Odell Beckham Jr. and others. It paid off because they got a Super Bowl ring. But Sean McVay alluded to that on the Pardon My Take podcast about how they had to work for the full draft this year. I think the LA Rams, top to bottom, offense, defense, special teams, and we know the coaching with Sean McVay, he's one of the best in the business. He's been to multiple Super Bowls. He's still really young. He's innovative. He changes with the times. He's a leader of men. He understands defense better than you think, and he's got a full hand in the uh, draft room as well. You put that offense out there again with uh, a bunch of playmakers, Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup, and, you know, again, health is going to be a big thing. Their offensive line should be better this year as well. You have a strong tight end room and listen Kyron Williams is a terrific running back and they went out and got a Blake Corum to kind of try to have a little bit of a thunder and lightning situation there Sean McVay is one of the worst coaches in terms of burning timeouts and in game management believe it or not a Super Bowl champion is that bad at game management wait for a second he went out and hired one of the best game management people uh, as a game control coordinator and all the rest. And Sean McDermott did the same exact thing in Buffalo to try to, you know, adapt and get better at it. And that shows you that there isn't as much ego in these guys as maybe you think. Sean McVay is one of the best coaches in recent NFL memory. When you go back 20, 25, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, and you think of the likes of the Jimmy Johnsons, and you think of Mike Holmgren and Bill Belichick and all these different guys, Mike Tomlin and Jim Harbaugh and, and, and uh, John Harbaugh as well, a lot of these guys, Sean McVay now has to be in that conversation. Multiple Super Bowl appearances, he has a ring, and you look at the draft and the development, he's lockstep with his GM and Les Snead, tremendous ownership, they've got a big-time bonafide stadium to play in, and they have one of the great quarterbacks of all time as well. Matthew Stafford, his numbers are insane. We knew he was amazing in Detroit. He had Megatron and that was just about it. But when you look at the all-time numbers for a second, if this guy is able to play another, oh, I don't know, three, four-ish, five years with the way the NFL rules are set up and with how elite he is, Matthew Stafford is going to go down as a top five passer in all of the major categories, which on the one hand, you say, well, look at the yards. It's like a Drew Brees. You know, you, yes, but you can also counter that with what Patrick Mahomes did a few years ago. 5,000 yards and 50 touchdowns in a season. A lot of it, sure, it is the fact of the NFL and the rules and you can't hit people like you used to and you protect quarterbacks. But if it were that easy from the rules, then more guys would do it. That part is the credit for Mahomes in 5,050. You didn't see four or five guys doing it. So same goes for Matt Stafford in that regard with a conversation piece. This guy has been putting up numbers galore, and I think he's going to go down as one of the great quarterbacks of the last 25, 30 years. And could you imagine, could you imagine if he wins another ring before he's done and puts it with numbers, wow, 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 wow. I think he'd blow by the stat, the uh, Eli Mannings, blow by the Drew Breeses, bro, blow by a lot of guys when you look at the numbers and the multiple rings. Right now, I think you could make an argument that him and Aaron Rodgers are neck and neck historically because of how poor Rodgers has been in the playoffs. Now, I would still say Aaron Rodgers, I would take him to win one game. I probably would put him ahead in terms of the all-time list, but it isn't that far away, and Stafford has at least three to five more years if he stays healthy, Rodgers is on the other side now at the age of 40. Stafford could put some of these numbers 
way, way, way in the back compared to some of the guys who had played the last 15, 20 years. But when you look at offense, defense, special teams, coaching, you look at some of the additions they had, the gra great draft that they had, shoring up the D-line with depth on the end and inside, linebackers, hybrid type guys. You look at uh, Verse and Fisk and what these guys can do from Florida State. Their secondary should be really good. They're going to fly around the football, and they have the ability to beat you a bunch of different ways. They can air it out. They can run it. They can get you with turnovers on a short field. They can beat you with the long game, the short game with speed. Puka Nakua, I know there's going to be a big bullseye in his back this year, but he's a wonderful football player, and the offense is led by a future Hall of Famer in Matt Stafford and a head coach who is going to be Canton bound one day in Sean McVay. Watch out for the LA Rams. The 49ers have had a lot of drama in that division. It's a new era in Seattle with Mike McDonald. The Cardinals are still trying to figure it out with a new regime and Kyler Murray. Can he stay healthy? I'm telling you, the LA Rams, when you look at pecking order in the NFC, you look at the Eagles, you look at the Niners, right? The Eagles had a lot of disastrous things go on last year with the OC and Hertz and the coaching staff at Sirianni's completely uh, lost his mind. But when you look at all that, right, Detroit, you look at some of the pecking order in there, I think the L.A. Rams deserve to be in the conversation. Mike Lindsley here at Rosie's Corner. Pizza and wing combinations all day long. They got the salads and the chips to go with your hot and cold subs as well. I'm going to go grab my pastrami Reuben right now at Rosie's Corner. Try the meatball bomber. Try the stuffed shells. Try the classic burger. All the fried appetizers as well, including your cauliflower, your shrimp, those kinds of things. It's a sneaky menu here at Rosie's Corner beyond the pizza and wings. So try it all here at Rosie's Corner, a proud ML Sports Platter sponsor. Go get them on Facebook, on Instagram, and be sure to purchase gift cards for all and any occasions as well. Chocolate milk in the cooler for the kids as well here at Rosie's Corner. It's an ML Sports take, and as I always tell you, enjoy the games.